Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, deep underground, there is a place beyond all your imagination, and the beings that live there should never be brought above. Hey man, I told you, you shouldn't be bringing those things above. Damn it! Listen to me! Anyways, tonight's movie, Mare Bito. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Worst Apocalypse ever! Whew. Episode number 30! Oh my god, one more episode after tonight. One more episode until Halloween. It is All Hallows Eve Eve. Ooh, yes, my friends, it is All Hallows Eve Eve. Anyways, coming off of last night's uh, standard, <laughs> average, giallo, so sweet, so dead, I have been reminded that I have somewhat neglected one of the mainstays of not only the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, but also of my channel, and that is Japanese horror movies. Not just Japanese horror movies, but Japanese insane, melt-your-brain, messed-up horror movies. And sure, yes, we had earlier this this season the uh, wonderful um, thumbnail needing to be redone because YouTube didn't like it uh, <laughs> review of uh, entrails of a virgin I thought you know what I'm going to end this year's Fright Fest with the two Japanese horror movies Tonight's movie, and then for the finale, a movie that someone has wanted me to review for years. I mean, almost since the beginning of me doing the whole YouTube thing. So it's been a request for quite a while, and I've kind of like, you know, just wanted to make like a real review, but, you know, copyright and all that good stuff, or actually bad stuff happened in the years that progressed and it sort of just kind of disappeared but no so i will be doing it so um i think she knows what i'm talking about and it's so but tonight's movie i am going to review a movie by the director of the wonderful juon series and this movie is maripito maripito so what is it all about so it is about a videographer who, um, by chance, uh, filmed a man in the subway uh, stabbing himself in the eye. And he notices that um, it was because he saw something that terrified him. And he wanted to know what that terror was. He wanted to know what that fear was that was in his eyes. And so he decides to go and explore into the vast tunnel ways of the subway and lower and lower he goes until he finds a unheard of world down there. I mean, it's like, just like ancient ruins and things not made by humans. It was really weird. And while he is going through this uh, new, newly discovered world, uh, he finds a beautiful naked woman who is chained to one of the walls and he's like hmm, I wonder what's going on here and so he decides to do what any smart person would do and that was to go back up get a whole bunch of people and authorities go back down show them exactly where this person is and have be you know have the greatest scientific discovery of all time unless there's a big conspiracy theory uh trying to prevent people from knowing about the subterranean universe and therefore he would have just gotten killed um 
I guess. But uh, no, that's not what he did. No, he, he ends up uh, taking the girl uh, from her bondage and going, you know, back up to the surface and keeping her in his uh, apartment because, you know, that's what people normally do, right? Right? You know, just strange lands, strange creatures. Uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, so he's struggling to figure out what's going on um, with her. Uh, she won't eat, she won't drink. And finally, he figures out, after getting himself injured, that she requires blood. Blood, blood, blood. Yes, and, you know, maybe the fangs that she had might have, I don't know, given it away, whatever. And so, of course, he decides that, uh, you know, he's got to feed her. And uh, so it starts with dead animals and eventually graduates to human. Anyways, so let's get to the scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am going to give this a 2 out of 5. Um, yes, there is quite a bit of blood in this movie. Uh, and that, that scene with the, the eyeball... Uh, was pretty nice, but, you know, it was, you know, tricks and stuff like that. But overall, not too super graphic, not too super crazy. So, uh, yeah, two out of five. Uh, shock value, I'm going to give this a one out of five. Um, just the shock of, you know, some of the actions that this guy takes and the madness and the insanity that he is going through in this movie. Uh, Produces the the shock not so much uh, Jump scares even though there are a few little things here and there so a one out of five plot I am going to give this a two out of five because it's 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 weird. It's nonsensical. Um, I know it's supposedly clever uh, You have questions whether he's imagining this whole thing or he's not imagining this whole thing um but it's just, the, the movie is hard to follow because you, you think like, okay, so he wants to see that terror and that, that dread and he goes down there, but then he finds this girl and so he just brings her back up and he just sort of stops going down there. Like, like you, you have this whole new world and you're not going to, you know, explore it even more because you're just going to stop and now you have like this whole thing and and, and it's kind of like uh, I don't know he's he's got this video fixation because he's got to see everything through the lens of his camera and he's got cameras all over his apartment he's watching he's watching her on his cell phone and it's it's really strange he's being stalked by this woman who claims that that she's you know, his wife, but he doesn't seem to recognize her, and that uh, her daughter is missing, and so you're thinking, well, wait, is that the daughter? But then how did she end up in the cave? And, you know, so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's weird, it's confusing, it's layered. Um, sure, maybe it's above me, I don't know, but it's a two out of five, I'm sorry. Um, going on to acting, now this is where the movie is Bam. Good. Great. It is a five out of five. This guy, who is also um, the guy playing the main character, is also a, a director of fine Japanese cinema. Um, God, oh, sh now I can't remember uh, what, what movie he, uh, he directed, but it, anyways. Uh, <laughs> anyways, he does a spectacular job. The, the way he just kind of like, you know, sort of is, is confused and pondering and, and slowly losing his mind and becoming like, you know, just sort of like enamored with this, this, this thing and then trying to make, make this uh, creature human and then sort of like giving up and uh, you can just see the dejection and I think, I think he does a very good job. Um, a lot of the dialogue is him narrating what's going on and his thoughts in his mind. Um, but, uh, I think does a wonderful job of this movie. He carries it. He is the focus and he is the driver of this movie and his performance and his, um, just overall goodness in this, in this, uh, role is what keeps you watching this film. And so kudos to him. Spectacular job. Spectacular, five out of five. Uh, moving on to a nudity, I am going to give it a one out of five. Um, I mean, 
you find the naked chick, right? So she's naked. And, uh, you know, it's there for a while. And little flashes here and there afterwards. But, uh, you know, nothing too overly um, exposed, I guess you would say. Uh, so a one out of five. Oh, she is very nice for a vampiric uh, underground dwelling monster, right? Yeah, anyways. So, uh, moving on to enjoyment factor. I am going to give this one a four out of five. I really enjoyed this movie. Yes, it is weird, and it is a slow burn, a very slow burn, but it's so interesting. And like I said, the, the performance of the lead actor is so engrossing, and I am pulled in, and I'm, I know I can understand why some people would not like this movie, why some people would find it boring, because there's not a whole lot of action in this film. I can understand that, and I can respect those opinions. You're wrong, but I can respect it. It's just, it's just, it's an engrossing movie. It just, it, it, it entranced me, and it's, it's a, a shame that we don't get any more, you know, study of the, the new world <laughs> that he found. Um, but it's just, it's just weird and quirky and messed up enough to be super enjoyable by my taste. So, uh, four out of five. Going on to overall impression, very solid movie. Um, I, I think it is, you know, put together so well. Apparently this was only shot in eight days. And yeah, I know there's like a lot of, uh, digicam footage and things like that, but I think that the way it's edited and constructed is quite good. And to put that package together to film everything, I'm sure the actual making of the movie afterwards maybe took a little bit longer, but still uh, pretty spectacular, pretty spectacular work. Uh, much respect, four out of five for my overall impression. It is one of those that if you're a J-horror fan, I think is a must watch. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's pretty dang good. However, that averages out to a 2.7 out of 5. Yes, I know, it needed a lot more shock value and a lot more gore. Uh, and perhaps uh, <laughs> tighten up the plot. I don't know. Anyways, it's still pretty dang good. Pretty, It's still pretty darn good. I know people are, are more, you know, the like, like last couple movie reviews earlier hitting over three so yeah this average looks pretty bad but like i said anything that is over two is usually you know all right and you know you're over 2.5 which means you're you're in the really you're in the good category at that point anyways 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 that said maribito maribito is a good movie Especially if you like weird Japanese films uh, that are somewhat existential and uh, philosophical. I mean, remember I did the review for uh, Id last year, and that movie was, of course, it had a lot more gore in it, and uh, probably even more messed up psychologically than this one. So maybe 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 I'm too mean on the plot score because I think this plot's probably better than that one. I'd have to review what the what I gave the plot for that one is. But anyways, I'm I'm gonna stick with it right now. Anyways, so there you have it, Maribito. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please leave a comment. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, bell notification. Um, buy my merch at my merch page. I don't have a merch page. I'm just repeating what every other freaking YouTuber says because, you know, that's what we are. We are robots. We have to be robots. We have to do exactly what our overlords tell us to do. Please rate, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Bow down to YouTube, God. Bow down to you. Anyway, snap out of it, man. Snap out of it. Okay. Anyways, thank you once again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, and I will see you next time for the finale. Yes, episode 31 is so close. So close. Anyways, it's so sweet, yet so dead. Anyways, anyways, and I will see you next time.
On the other hand, when I saw Halloween Horror, stay scary, Internet. And remember, when you're traveling in a subterranean uh, world that you've never seen before, filled with things and sights that your mind can't comprehend, don't bring up the, the naked chick. Don't bring up the naked chick. Just leave her there. Get some people. Get some people. Share the experience. Tell the world. Tell the universe. Make sure you make copies of that video you were making and send it to all the news agencies to protect you from dying, but, you know, from the conspiracy. But still, I mean, you know, you, she'll be... She, you don't know how long she's been there. She could have been there for thousands of years. She'll still be there. I mean, what? I mean, unless your, your idea is you're claiming her for your nefarious uses, I mean, I guess if that's what you're going to do, then I can understand it, but gross? Uh, shame on you? But otherwise, man, just get everyone in there! It's the discovery of the universe, of the century, you'll be famous! You'll get all the naked chicks after that. And it's not because you're the discoverer. No, it's because you're going to, like, cash in on that and you're going to be rich. And, you know, nothing attracts pussy like dollar bills. <laughs> Millions of them. Anyways. <laughs> yeah.